OPEC, the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries at Saudi Arabia, Iran, Venezuela, etc., sit on 78% of conventional oil reserves. So we're facing a situation in which this market, the oil market, is dominated by a cartel. Now at the same time, our cars can only use oil. After the shock of the oil crisis, instead of building efficient cars and diversifying fuel types, America chose a different path. It increased the number of countries it imports oil from. And like someone protecting their gas station, America built military bases near almost every major oil installation in the Middle East. America pays about a half trillion dollars a year to maintain military forces whose primary mission is intervention in the Persian Gulf. That expenditure is about 10 times what we pay to buy oil from the Persian Gulf. Of course, we have other interests in the region. It's not all about oil, but it's hard to believe that we would have fought a couple of wars there and sent lots of troops there if Kuwait just grew broccoli. If we could get away from, from sending our sailors and airmen and soldiers to go defend somebody else's oil fields, you, you, you can't even put a price tag on that. There are some people who naively say, well, no, those, those forces are there to defend democracy. But if that was really true, then we would be every place where there is a problem. And we're not every place where there is a problem. We are only those places where there is a oil problem. <laughs>